They say a watch pot never boils. I've been sitting here for a while watching this thing. Now it's finally boiling. It may not be super easy to see, but I, I want to ask a multiple choice question. You see these bubbles, you've seen water boil. You see, you see these bubbles. What are the bubbles made of? What are the bubbles made of? And I'll give you multiple choice. Air, hydrogen and oxygen, or something else. Of course the answer is something else, right? But the idea that they're air bubbles, they look like air bubbles, right? That's very common. The idea that, oh, water is hydrogen and oxygen, H2O, so it's, it's hydrogen and oxygen. So I want to talk about boiling water and show you a really cool demo, but I'm going to move this out of the way because it's kind of hot and it's bothering me. So let's just push this over here out of the way and we can talk about something. I want to show you what it looks like if you actually have hydrogen and oxygen. So you can make this demo yourself. This is a, a plastic cup and I have two thumbtacks on the bottom. Uh, and you poke them through the plastic cup so it doesn't leak. And then there's a little bit of salt in the water just to make sure that it can conduct electricity. Now I take a 9-volt battery, and I'm going to see if you can see this. Watch those two pins inside. You see that one? You see those bubbles? I can't remember if it's hydrogen or oxygen. I think it's hydrogen. But it produces both hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, one is on one side and one on the other. Uh, the oxygen gets absorbed mostly into the water, I think. But this is a simple way to make hydrogen and oxygen on your own. It's a super simple experiment, and it's kind of fun. It's kind of amazing to look at, so you should try that. But that's not boiling, right? That's different than boiling. So let's put that over here. That's not boiling. It's not bubbles, because when you blow bubbles in water, that looks completely different. This is my model of water. So imagine these are water molecules, and it's just something that I found a lot of. It doesn't really matter. And they're in a container, and they're shaking around like this. Well, some of these water molecules get enough energy to boop, boop, and they come up, and they just they turn into water vapor. You know this because if you take a cup of water and you leave it out, eventually it's all gone. It evaporates. So the water in here turns into a gas. We call that water vapor, and it's gone. Well, how fast does that water turn into a vapor? We call, and imagine that, it, that you had it in a closed container. Well, it wouldn't all turn into a water vapor because eventually some of the water vapor would turn back into a water and to condense. So at some point, we could call this pressure of the water vapor, water, the vapor pressure. That's the vapor pressure, right? It's, it's the, essentially a measure of the rate that the water, liquid water turns into water vapor. That water vapor pressure depends on the temperature. If I heat it up, you can even see this. If I heat this up, they start, start coming out more. I can actually make the styrofoam evaporate. So what happens when water boils? Well, when water boils, uh, we get this to a temperature such that the vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure. And if that's the case, then I can actually turn the inside of this down inside of there into a gas, into a vapor. So the inside of the water, I can make bubbles of water gas, water vapor. And that's what boiling is. So we heat up the water, it increases the vapor pressure until it's equal to the vapor pressure of the atmospheric pressure, boiling. You know I don't really care about that. I care about one thing and it's a demo and that's what I'm going to do right now. So there's another way we can make things boil. Instead of heating up the water, I can reduce the air pressure. So this is a flask. It's got a container uh, hole on it and I have a vacuum pump. So let's plug in the vacuum pump and turn it on. And I'll just hold it right here and I'm going to, it's a little loud so just, just be careful. Here it goes. You know what? It's not. Let's try again. There it goes. Boiling water, and it's not even hot. It's it's cool. So when you reduce the the at the outside pressure, you can boil at a lower temperature. This is why if you have cooking uh, stuff in higher elevations, then the atmospheric pressure is less and things boil at lower temperatures. So really, I just, like I said, I just wanted to show you this demo. Now, if you want to do this yourself, 
You can. It's a little difficult. I've done it before. If you get a plastic syringe filled with water and hold the stopper closed and pull the plunger out, you decrease the pressure inside and you can actually get that water to boil. It's not easy to do, but you can do it. There you go. Boiling water.